Hello friends, it's Kim Possible. I deserve a break. I worked hard on this stupid duct work. I notice when I strain, I like start to black out. Like if I'm like, like I used to be able to do things that like now make me go, whoa. Like I got off the ladder and stepped on the floor and was like, wow. I don't know if that's high blood pressure or low blood pressure. I was pushing really hard to get these two things to stick together. Anyways, I am, uh, so I washed my hair with shampoo. Usually I do not wash my hair and I don't scrub my roots like that when I'm washing my hair anymore. I like to keep the natural oils in there to some degree. Um, if I'm sweaty, it's a different story. I might have to do that. And, um, when I start rubbing this through with my fingers, I get a lot of hair. You see it? Yeah. So it's not breaking off. It's coming out from the roots because it's just normal, I guess, for hairs to separate. Um, the stuff that I'm using is Cantu. And I like the stuff that has the little white star there. There's, a, there's, there's one that has a little gold one. Anyways, this one doesn't have any soy in it. And I don't... It's shea butter. It says it helps hair breakage. I don't believe that. I don't know how... I guess maybe because um, you don't have to brush so hard if it's not tangled. So um, I put a pretty good amount in there and I leave it in there. Then I brush it through and um, some of it soaks in and some of it sort of like it seems kind of oily at first, but my hair seems to be dry probably because it's been, you know, chemicals. I've had it bleached out to very light and then blonded several times as the roots grow out that's how long my hair is getting i'm so happy with that oh my goodness it was so short when i first started to transition i needed to wear a wig and now i don't i know I, my hairline is like that receding sort of um male pattern thing i don't like that but it's like it could be way worse there's trans women my age who um, are completely bald. They, they have nothing to work with. So I am good. I will make it work. It, it has slowly, this line here, slowly been moving over. And I used a little bit of like hair growth, Rogaine, generic Rogaine in there for a while. And it didn't seem to do the whole thing. You know, I don't know if it had any effect, but it did seem to help. Okay, so we were going to talk about my makeup. First, I need to shave. Sometimes I use this to shave, the hair conditioner. Like, I get this at Aldi. It's like cheap. It's only like six or eight dollars. Uh, La Cura. I don't know. Whatever the Aldi's brand is, they have a day and a night. And I use the day and the day and the night at night. I think the night stuff is, is more like abrasive it's like supposed to be i think maybe it's more exfoliating or whatever and this is more moisturizing so anyways it's good for shaving if i had a little bit of water i would um also dab some water but i don't so we're just gonna do and this is like far away better than dry shaving it cuts closer and smoother and you get less um irritation afterwards and I can rub this garbage all in I always have really dry spots out here past my eyes so rub a little bit of that into there obviously I don't need to shave that okay this razor is relatively new it's nice and sharp this is against the grain the hairs grow back on this side on this side they still grow this way so I pretty much do a hold this way and if my hair was grown out anymore I would start in this direction and then come back because right now I'm back shaving um, but I think I shaved like yesterday afternoon so it's very very short you can see it. It's hard. Okay, done shaving. Um, 
Okay, there's enough moisturizer that we're going to call that a prime. I know you could use primer. I don't know. In a couple hours, I'm going to come home and take this makeup off. Um, the makeup I'm using is from Rimmel. It's Stay Matte. And um, uh, I don't know if I recommended it or not. My friend gave it to me. Like, that's a big tube of makeup. It's um, a whole fluid ounce, which, you know, makeup's expensive. And this is like really, it comes out like a tube of toothpaste almost. It's like really thick. Um, and then this is too dark for me and this is too light for me. So I'm just going to like mix, mix, do a little custom jobby here. And then I'll do the light stuff around my eyes. But um, I don't know. I know this is terrible, terrible. Oh my good God, what are you doing, girl? What are you doing? It's a little on the dark side. I see you on the dark side of the moon. Wow, it looks like I have to tan, actually, is what it looks like. Okay, now I take my blending sponge and I pack it all in. Rub some back onto my ears so my ears don't look completely out of place because this is more tan. <laughs> I guess I need to use a little more of the light stuff when I'm mixing. But see, sometimes I just do it. If it comes out bad, I just look bad. A trans woman, I'm allowed to look bad. Cis women have a lot more time to learn how to do makeup. And uh, this really isn't my choice foundation. It's just one I have. So figuring out how to how to make do. Because bitch broke. I mean, what am I going to do? Throw it away and be like, oh, it's the wrong shade for me. That's how I ended up with it. Actually, I don't remember how I ended up with it. You know, make sure you get your, your neck right. You don't want like a line anywhere. Maybe right under your chin. But anyways, you don't really want a line. You know, you have to spread that color off into the distance. Fade it like it's far away. Like a far away place, you know. I'm gonna wipe my hands and let's see how we did. Oh, I'm as orange as a lion politician. Nah, it's fine. It's fine because the powder that goes on is going to change the color again. Um, we're going to take this. Uh, oh, that's why. This is the wrong color. I mixed the nude in the sand, and I meant to mix the sand and the fair ivory, and that is why I'm orange, because I did did the wrong thing. Anyways, I do like a butterfly thing. It goes here, it goes here, over here, and up here. Okay, all the way into the crease, all the way up underneath accenting the brow the underside of the brow you want it to be nice and light you don't want a shadow there that makes it look bigger than it is all the way down into this crease to try and make it my face not look so creased you know brighten up the eyes make them pop you know we didn't do eyebrows yet so i have a feeling when i when i have this much foundation like in my eyebrows i gotta paint them on when i do a much less like uh, makeup, I can, uh, I don't got to paint them on. I can use a pencil and they look good with a pencil. But the problem is, is once you have this much foundation, like mixed up in your eyebrows, um, you get, you can't draw with the pencil. The pencil just drags and clogs. So, or at least the pencils I use, cheapest ones you can get, $2 brow pencil in like a blondish brown 
maybe put some on my nose, a little onto the forehead, and then we're going to use the blender. We're going to find a clean side. We're going to dab it in and get the finger motions off of there. I know you're not supposed to smear it around with your fingers, but it's fast and it, it gets a good start. I don't know. I'm sure not a makeup artist. I had no training. I watched YouTube a lot and uh, starting to look like a woman some days. Okay, so there's that. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not looking at you. I'm uh, looking at this mirror, my little mirror. It has a magnifier on this side and has a regular on this side. And then I have a This side's a 5 magnification, and this side is a 10 magnification. I use that for doing electrolysis. You should never look at yourself that closely. Your, your pores will... Like, ah! The madness! Hopefully, anyone who is that close to you, if they're getting picky about your pores, like, bye, you know? Like if they're that close, it's for like intimate reasons and they're looking, you know? Anyways, enough of that already. <sighs> Got my lights and my darks. Now we need brows. Okay, here's my brush. This is my wet brush. It's it's icky. But what I'm going to do, maybe I'll, I'll use this some. Um, paper towel and I'll squeeze whatever and brush whatever old stuff is in there out so I got some fresh stuff to work with that's not all dried okay now I have uh, this day the same Rimmel stock I got like a whole kit you know and so this deep mocha I was like I can't use that I can't even use that really for contour it's too dark I guess I could mix it with something else and do more contour but it works great for a brow I can do a brow with it honestly I could do some of my hairline with it too because my roots are showing really bad, so. But for my brow, what I want to do, boy, I want to show you this. How do I get up close and show you this without blocking your view? Okay, for my brow, what I'm going to do, I've got this um, pasted into a thin line. And I'm going to start at my natural brow, okay, and I'm just going to pull it out. I'm going to stay at the top of the brow. I'm going to fill all the spot that has hair that I have carefully trimmed to be that way and I'm gonna paint it on there above my brow bone my natural brow would come down to would follow this line here but this is a much better spot for a brow for a woman it gives me much more room between my eyes and my brow Yes, I am acting like a, uh, fa a YouTube fashion makeup artist. That's that's what I am right now. It's not my aspiration to be, but like, hey, that's what I'm doing, and you get to see if you want. If not, you click away. If you don't like it, or if you think I'm doing something wrong, go ahead and make a comment in the uh, description of the video. I don't mind. I know how to take constructive criticism, or you can just tell me horrible, nasty things, like I'll never be anything but a man in a dress. You can tell me, oh, chromosomally, you'll always be a man, and that I'm a freak, and that I'm going to die alone because I'm so weird. I don't know. Those aren't really things people have said. But I mean, I'm down. Go ahead, send me some ma nasty comments. I, I, I respond to them. I'm like, okay, well, who do you think you are? And to, you know, the thing I've noticed, right, is those nasty comments, boy, getting brows even is tough. And the, the, uh, so what I was taught, right, is that brows, your brows are sisters not twins meaning they look alike you can tell they're from the same family but they ain't 
identical. And uh, as long as the gap between them is somewhat something right, then you're okay. So that was that was my brush. Um, this is a Urban Decay electric brush. And it's got a little bitty thing on this side. I could have used the little bitty thing to do better on the outs. But, eh, what can you do? I'm only going to get so pretty, people. All right, now I'm going to use my CoverGirl Clean Powder. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I'm sorry. I'm a broke ass bitch. I, I went to the dollar store. I was like, I need some powder. Um, a nice big fat brush. Boy, I like this big fat brush. It feels nice. Anyways, you fill it up. This is not um, translucent setting powder. This is, you know, face powder. So this is going to change. Um, my base makeup um because it's gonna it's gonna pigment it it's actually gonna pigment it lighter which is good because that's kind of what i want we're just gonna set all that makeup that we rubbed all over our face every bit every inch you gotta keep building it up in there like it's supposed to you're supposed to get a lot of this on there you know you don't want your face all slimy this makes it set okay and um it smells good mm -hmm. I like it and uh, hopefully when this powder sets in it takes some of that gloss like um, the uh, makeup itself it has like kind of like a plasticky sheen to it you know you can tell there's something on there like or maybe like paint like an eggshell paint finish which is like kind of gross I don't know it's just not definitely not the look i'm going for you know and uh i'm so glad that the heat is over it's cool here in pittsburgh now it's like 40 degrees outside that's fahrenheit and uh the upper lip sweat i get a relief from that for a little while you know because okay and then i'm doing my brows too i'm setting my brows with the color powder it's going to make them a little bit lighter a little bit softer because that mocha is pretty intense um and uh but they are going to stand out pretty good. I'm, I'm okay with them, you know? And I'm going to do most, I'm just going to do the center of my forehead. I am going to leave the out, these things, and I am going to hit those with some darker powder. Okay, I found my dark brush. It's not quite as floofy as my powder brush, but we'll get it. And then I'm using... Um, this is Black Radiance pressed powder in the color Rich Mahogany. So this is, you know, black girl makeup. And um, because the colors are rich, you know, and I, um, elegance, you know, it, it, it really it works. I need to just, right. So I can't fix my hairline, but what I can do is I can downplay it with a little bit of shadow there little permanent shadow and then I'm going to do my hair so a lot of it gets covered some you know my hair wisps around and um, when it does that I um, you might notice it but I so I want it to be inherently downplayed when I do drag I do it much more uh, dark I, I do a lot more of this contouring and I do a little bit I, I squeeze the brush so it's narrow and I just brush a little bit over the brow and I will blend that out later and then I also do a little bit of a contour from my ear down below my cheekbone and then when I'm doing drag I would also you know do the bottom of my chin it kind of breaks that up Oh, you can see it because the light is so harsh in here it, it really makes the uh, contour pop you know so yeah here i got it above there down below the cheekbone all the way back to the ear heck make your ear a little bit darker you don't want your ears to pop stand out being the whitest thing on your head and then obviously you can see it a lot i'm gonna brush it out brush it out a little bit i really want it to be that big of a feature on my face but I do want it to be there all right um, so I'm kind of powdering out 
uh, contouring back in and then powdering back out again to get that line right where I want it get everything blended in nice and clean well nice and clean a little bit cleaner under the eyes with the light so you're not getting any dark dropping there and then maybe pull it back away from the um, smile lines and there we go there's a contour can you see it are you able to see it that looks a little bit bold right there all right um so that's the basic base space like over my eyes looks horrible horrible i got old lady wrinkles on my eyelids I hate it but i don't have a lot of time so i need to do the bare minimum that can like really help me out the palette that i've been using a lot of really really beautiful colors and they're gorgeous pigments so i'm so down for this i've got a couple of brushes that are dry this one here is a nice little floofy one um, and i am not doing any ultra fine lines i am gonna am gonna was gonna i was gonna do some lights but i'm not going to I got some pink i'm gonna put some pink on my eyes give myself some pink eye huh up high in the crease a little more for the other side it's hard to do it so you can see it and i can see it recording is no joke okay and i'm just gonna do the first like inner third of the eye with a light color and then i'm gonna find a little bit purple I'm gonna at halfway across the eye I'm gonna introduce that I really did my base wrong I really like it when my base is lighter on my eyelids I shouldn't have I should have used well I shouldn't have used any powder I shouldn't have used I should have left it either translucent powder or just left that as the base, the primer base, because I look very dark eyed. And then maybe I will take this really dark purple that I have, load up the brush real good, and then go from the corner out. Because I don't like doing terrible with a wing, terrible with eyeliner, and I just don't have the time to be to do something that terrible so i'm going to give myself a little bit of purple on both sides no it's not very even what do you think i don't know what i'm doing for a lip I don't know what I'm doing for hair. My hair looks something like this even. There you go. Doesn't look too bad. I kind of look like a man. No. Not at all. Look at this. Look at this beautiful face. Okay, so. Um, setting spray. It's a great thing if somebody else is buying it. It's expensive expensive you know it comes in this little bitty thing and they whew. the other thing that works don't do it it's bad for you someone told me oh the chemicals you'll get i'm like chemicals what am i going to do die and they were like yes you get diseases and stuff oh my god i don't know whatever you say hairspray it'll make your makeup stick it's not going to go it's not going to move around um so ugh.
Did a little on the hair. In my ears, the whole shebang. All right, that's it. I gotta get dressed. And I say, um, it's been swell, but the swelling's gone down. So, uh, I can, you know, I could do a highlight. There's so many more things I could do. I could contour my nose. My nose looks tiny. If I was going to do drag, I would do all those things. But I'm going to go watch drag, and they don't care. They don't want me to look better than them. So, but uh, everyone, I so many people will know me. They'll be like, Kim, Kim Passable. And I love that. I really love that. I, I like my little bubble of fame where I'm at least everybody knows me um, it's good stuff so if you haven't already um, like this video it makes it me look like I have friends and if you are watching and you're not a subscriber you know click the subscribe button so when I make things you get notified and um, yeah, thanks for being here. It was great talking to you, and have a good day. Uh, leave me comments. What more do you want to see? What else are you interested in that I've talked about? And I'll see you later. Bye.